Unit 3 Morality and Immortality in Talk Everlasting, December 8th. Natalie Babbitt was born in Ohio, U.S. As a child, she decided to become an artist after receiving an illustrated novel. She graduated from Smith College, got married, and had three children. After years as a homemaker, she was inspired by the 1960s feminist movement to pursue her childhood dream. She began illustrating children's books and writing fiction. She wrote Tuck Everlasting in response to her youngest child's fears about dying. A major theme of the novel is how mortality is a crucial part of the life cycle. Angus discourages Winnie from telling anyone about the spring water and longs to end his own immortality. It's the certainty of eventual death in having connections with others that make life worth living. Jesse urges Winnie to drink the spring water and thereby transform into an immortal being. This shows that he doesn't care about Winnie's welfare. He's had many years to mature and realize the harsh reality of being immortal. But he has the perspective of a selfish adolescent. Instead of being stuck in an unnatural cycle, he is stuck outside of any cycle, both mentally and physically. The vulnerable boundary between right and wrong is another important theme. First, the Tucks commit the crime of kidnapping in order to protect Winnie and impress upon her the fundamental importance of keeping their secret. Second, May kills the man in the yellow suit, which is murder. But the action is justified to protect the world from a potentially dreadful outcome. Last, Winnie knowingly helps release May from police custody, because it's for the greater good. She learns important morality lessons about right and wrong, by making difficult but wise decisions.